Hello and welcome back to the channel. Android 13 is being talked about this year, but what do you understand about the way apps on Android 11, 12, and maybe 13 store your data? Why is this folder apparently always empty? Let's find out in this video. Make sure you pause the video and join the Facebook page as we have fun there. Previous versions of Android, that's Android 9, 8 and downwards, had a storage in two forms, the private storage and then the shared storage. The private storage was usually found under the Android data folder and that is where apps store their personal data needed to be able to run smoothly. Then we have the shared storage. The shared storage is made up of the media and non-media files. And so we have files such as our pics, our documents, downloads and other apps that might be installed on the PC. Any app that had storage permissions could access the shared storage as well, but that was a vulnerability issue because the app will be able to access your personal documents such as your bank statements and other work or office documents. So this was a vulnerability issue. The fact that apps were given the chance to be able to access and modify things found in the shared storage meant that the apps were able to store their data at any part in the shared storage. This brought about a performance issue because after an app is uninstalled from the phone, it has a whole lot of files left in the shared storage, making the phone slow. In Android 10, storage was restructured into blocks so that certain blocks of the shared storage required by an app to be able to work properly are accessible. And so, for instance, an e commerce app such as Jumia will not be granted access to your documents or your videos or pictures because those are not needed for the app to be able to run properly but an app such as whatsapp will be granted such permissions like your videos your documents your pictures which are needed in case you need to upload them or share them to other people but this was actually enforced in android 11. this comes down to the reason why android 11 the android data folder appears to be empty at all times. With the File Explorer app that is needed to be able to access your files and folders on the phone, similar restrictions have been applied to them, so they are able to access only blocks of the shared storage that is needed for them to be able to run. So for instance, the default file app for Samsung shows an empty folder for Android data and that's because permissions have not been granted for that block. And so how do you access info that you need there? Maybe you need the media downloaded by your Telegram app or any other app. Two ways will be introduced in this video to be able to access the content found in the Android data folder. The first one involves connecting your device to a PC using a USB cable and then change USB settings to transferring files. We open the phone and then to Android folder and the data folder. We can now locate the files and folders we need such as the telegram folder here and the telegram x folder found here. A dedicated video has already been made for accessing telegram x media files. The link is found at the top right corner. The second way which is faster and easier involves downloading a file explorer app called files which has permissions to the android data folder. And so it means the files app has been granted permission to that block of the phone to be able to access the information there. A link to the app on Play Store will be provided in the description and comment section. After installation, grant the app the permissions it may need and then you are good to go. We go back to Android, Data and cool, the apps now appear. And before you do any other thing, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and educative. Subscribe to the channel with the bell icon turned on if you haven't and make sure you share to others.